In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a, a Word document, a Word document that I use to build my PowerPoint slides, and convert it into a PowerPoint slide deck. The form that I'm using that's on the screen is a template that was provided by Cliff Atkinson and his book Beyond Bullet Points. And it's uh, changed how I do PowerPoint presentations and I think it will for you. But let me show you the process that I go through in order to take this and convert it over to a PowerPoint slide deck. So first I make sure that you know all the fields are filled out for this particular form and it's basically an outline so you could do the very similar things with an outline. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select all and to do that, I basically push down the Control A button and it selects the whole document. Next, I want to copy that. I can use the menu bar or I can just press Control C and I use Control C quite often. And so I'm done with this phase. The next thing that I need to do is bring up a blank Word document. So I'm going to select File, New and open up a blank document. So what I want to do is I want to paste this as uh, unformatted text. And one way to do that is go to where the paste button is and the drop down arrow and select the option keep text only. And so I select that. And I'm at this time I'm going to turn on the paragraph bar or paragraph button to show you the formatting of the text. These little arrows, that is a tab and at the end of uh, the, each of the paragraphs you have a paragraph marker. So I don't necessarily want, I, I want basically everything to be on its own line. Additionally, there are certain things that I don't want in this document. For example, uh, this phrase. This is part of that template and I don't necessarily want it uh, in my final slide deck so I would have to clean this out. When I first started doing this I would bring in the document and I would hand clean this up. I would try to search and replace and I would you know I'd highlight something and delete it and what I've done since is I've I've created a macro that does this for me. So this macro sits up on my toolbar and it's called Clean Presentations and I have a link to that macro uh, for your convenience. And when I press that, you will see that it basically gets rid of unwanted text, it gets rid of those tabs, it puts uh, each item on its own line and uh, I'll go ahead and run that now. So everything is nice and neat on its own line and that's what I need for my presentation. So that is step two. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it as a Word document and I'm going to put it into my documents and I have a document there and I'm just going to leave the title Improving Your PowerPoint Presentations and save this. So at this time I am done with Microsoft Word so I will close both of those documents and what I want to do is have PowerPoint open. I also have a template in PowerPoint so I'm going to go ahead and create a new document using that uh, template and I can find this in my personal templates and it's called Beyond Bullet Points Template and it's a template that I built to help show off the different slides the way that I want those slides to be uh, reflected and so I create a new document and I know that this is my PowerPoint because if I look at layout I can see that I have different slide types that are color coded the way that I wanted. Now what I would like to do is bring in those separate lines from my 
my Word document and create new slides. To do that, you have an option under New Slide and you select the down arrow and at the, the very bottom of this, and unfortunately uh, you're not able to see um, in this presentation, but it's called Slides from Outline and so you select that. And Slides from Outline brings up um, you know where you can search for various slides so I'm going to navigate to my slides and I'm looking for that document that I created improving PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to insert and so what Microsoft PowerPoint does is it will take each one of those and bring it in as a new slide so this first slide is blank I'm going to delete that and so now I look and I see that everything is on its own slide and I have an ending slide. I'm going to get rid of that. So now I want to format this in the way that, um, you know, is going to be useful for, for me. So these first few slides, that happens to be, um, you know, the intro slides. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all and I'm just going to lay it out with this title only and I want to make sure everything has got a title only slide that will just save me time and energy later so now I want to go find um, you know the, the the key slides so you know so the first one is why using this method uh, will help you make a more memorable presentation and I'm just going to change the layout to look like that okay and this happens to be one of my explanation slides, so that one is going to look like that. This is also an explanation slide. And, and this happens to also be an explanation slide. And then this is also a key slide. So this is actually my second main point. So this was my first main point. This is now my second main point, and this is going to be one, an explanation slide. And I basically do this through the rest of my slide deck. So when I get done, these are kind of broken up, you know, so I know what my key slides is, my explanation slides, and my detailed slides. And then I, I start adding the imagery to it, uh, cleaning up the text figuring out how to make that better as I go through the deck. Basically I'd be looking to get two lines of text you know on the top of each slide and no more. So that is my process for taking a Word document and moving it over to PowerPoint.